Forget magnets and postcards. When you're traveling to Iceland, you are gonna wanna take home something a little more unique. Good thing I've been into just about every souvenir shop in downtown Reykjavik, so I'm here to tell you about all of the cool things that you can bring home for souvenirs. Oh, and P.S. Did you know that they actually sell air and people buy it? Uh, what? Hey Team Iceland, my name is Jeannie and I'm here to help you plan the best trip ever to Iceland. That's my mission. If this is your first time on my channel, don't go away without hitting subscribe because I want you to learn about all of the videos right when they come out. Today we are talking about the best souvenirs that you can buy yourself during your time in Iceland because ain't nobody wants some lame souvenirs. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into it. The first amazing souvenir that you can buy yourself is anything having to do with the Icelandic wool. A lot of people are just thinking that they need to buy an expensive Lopa Pesa sweater if they want to buy something that's made of wool. But there are other things that you can get like hats, mittens, scarves, baby booties, and all of the things. So yeah, it's expensive to buy wool stuff, but it is really amazing. Next up is all of the candy things. So let me tell you one thing, and that is that Icelanders love their candy. They actually have a candy day on Saturday. I'm not kidding. And it's where all of their candy in the bulk section of the supermarket is 50% off. So tip. But Iceland's just like a lot of Europeans actually like licorice quite a bit and they will find ways to put licorice in a lot of things. Some of the most famous licorice is chocolate covered licorice and I actually highly recommend this because you have salty and sweet together and it is divine. Another delicious candy is the Om Nam chocolate. They make so many delicious flavor combinations and I highly recommend them. Sticking with the food theme, you can actually buy different flavored salts in Iceland. So you'll find these salts in prepackaged cute little jars at a lot of different souvenir shops and actually you can also find them in the grocery store. And these salts are delicious. They're like different kind of flavors, smoky, savory, all different kinds of amazing salts that of course they get from the local seas. And wouldn't it be cool to bring a unique jewelry piece home from Iceland? Couple different ideas here, you guys. So I've seen lava jewelry being made these days, which I think is amazing because they're using the lava, hello. So a really artisan shop is in downtown Reykjavik called Aurum. They make some really beautiful, unique pieces. However, if you don't want to spend that much money, I would head to the Kolaport at the flea market. If you want to bring back some Icelandic spirits, there's a few cool options here. So first off is the Reyka vodka. So they're actually unique because they use fresh glacier water from Iceland and they filter it through lava. So if that's not unique, I don't know what is. If you're more into beer, my favorite brewery in Iceland is called Einstuk and they have a few different varieties of beer. Last up is the famous Icelandic schnapps, which is called Brennavin. And that is the delicious liquid that you drink with the fermented shark, but actually by itself, it's not that bad. I like it. We have a bottle in the freezer at all times and that would be very unique to bring back from Iceland. And if you're thinking that you want something apparel wise that you can wear out even outside of Iceland, then I highly recommend checking out the local Icelandic stores like 66 North, Sintamani, and Icewear. You know the famous weather conditions in Iceland? Yeah. They design good quality clothing because they know that you have to protect yourself from those elements. Next up is something from the Blue Lagoon spa line. So the Blue Lagoon itself is known for being a geothermal spa, but all of the products that they sell are really natural and good for your skin. So they have things like face masks and body scrubs and lotions and even candles. So it'd be really amazing to bring that home with you. And last but not least is something of Icelandic design. So if you're thinking about decorating your home with a few beautiful Icelandic pieces, then look no further than some of the awesome, unique shops in downtown Reykjavik. I actually really love the Icelandic design. I think it's very minimal and clean. I mean, your typical Scandinavian look, but also really beautiful pieces. My favorite store is called Kroim, 
and they have some beautiful items in their store. All right, my friends, so I'm wondering, which souvenir do you think that you're gonna bring home from Iceland? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today, friends, and I will see you here next week for another Iceland video, and as always, happy planning.